Oh no, <laughs> everything is not awesome. What is going on everybody Z here? Welcome back to some more No Man's Sky. So today, I don't actually know what today is going to involve. I don't know, but I'm excited. Hopefully you are too. We're going to continue along, do the things, do the stuff. Um, I'm not going to worry about Quicksilver stuff right now. I'm going to do those in my off time because like, I mean, they're just Quicksilver events, you know, go do this, go do that, blah, 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 all that stuff. Anyways, uh, let's go check out first things first. Let's go see what we... Did I unlock anything? I don't know if I actually unlocked anything. I might need to go get more salvage data in order to unlock some more base parts because there are a few base parts that I would like to get. Uh, this one specifically. I have three salvage data. You know what? Let's get that unlocked right now. Perfect. Okay, so that is good. Uh, explore the uh, space anomaly. Vill visit Helios, the Grand Alanus analyst and um, um, i don't even know what i said i don't even know how i said that word <laughs> okay let's go talk to this guy let's go we're gonna we're just gonna progress things you know what's up dude how are you ah young one you who still roam the boundaries of this universe how i envy you my time in reality has long passed but i do miss it perhaps you might be able to help an old soul out and share things yes i will give you all of the data uh now you're gonna give me some nanites how many nanites did i get i got 80 nice okay speak to of the travelers to earn nanites learn technology blueprints <sighs> i just learned uh learn technology blueprints visit a technology research such as selene researchers will create new blueprints from nanites okay oh we're gonna learn the blueprint okay cool um i did actually already grab the i already grabbed the upgrade here uh, for my backpack, I unlocked that slot, which reminds me we need to go through and do all this stuff. But uh, one of the things actually, hold on, let's just see this. One of the things that I really want to unlock is I really want to get, where is the industry stuff? Okay, I want to get an electronic field generator. Um, I also want to get the supply depot, the supply line, the mineral extractor. I want to get all of this stuff so we can set up a farm. So we can start making some money, some buku bucks. And uh, yeah, getting some things. Okay. Uh, research exosuit upgrades. So let's see. Life support. Uh, hazmat gauntlet. We probably need that. Auction recycler. Auction recycler. That would probably be something really good to get. Uh, rocket boots. All of this stuff improves the fuel efficiency of the jetpack. Uh, jetpack's marine jets. I don't. I'm not. I'm not worried about water jets. Rocket boots and neural simulator. I'd like to get those two. Uh, I'd like to get all of this stuff, honestly. Shield lattice. That's going to increase our hazard protection. Line of spend longer in hazard environments. Uh, okay, let's get the hazmat gauntlet to start with. Perfect. And then let's go ahead. Let's get some other things, too. Because our suit is ultimately our body, right? Like, we got to be able to do the things and stuff if we want to continue doing more things and more stuff. So, uh, let's go. I have 811. What is this? Movement upgrade, jetpack tanks 20%, recharge rate is 11. Okay, let's go ahead and unlock that. And then let's go ahead and get oh hold on. Let me make let me make sure this mission's finished. Uh okay, so it wants me to what is the mission currently? Explore the space anomaly. I'm exploring the space anomaly. I think it said to browse the category of research items. Uh, and then speak to Nada about Artemis. Perfect. Okay, so let's grab some more upgrades from you because my suit needs upgraded. Next suit upgrades. Uh, let's see. Mm. Air burst engine, a powerful upgrade for the exosuit, allowing limited jetpack recharging while airborne. That sounds amazing. We need phosphorus for that, but that's not that hard to come across. That's going to take 460, though. Uh, ooh, personal refiner. Self-mounted refiner unit, compact extension to the exosuit, installing a small portable refiner accessible directly from the exosuit's interface. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know what? I think we need... Highly effective compressors fitted around the jet box. Jetpack exhaust. Take advantage of the wind flow generated by persistent falling. Recycling some of that energy into jetpack fuel. Let's go ahead and get that unlocked. 
because that's going to be really nice. And then how much money, how much do I have left? I have 260 advanced jump capabilities, allowing the user to take huge leaps with ease. Uh, we're going to wait on that one. We're going to wait on that one. Yeah, we're going to wait on those. Let's go look at our multi-tool upgrades now. Let's see what they got. Uh, what multi-tool do you have right now? Uh, weapon terminal. Nope, don't worry. I'm not even worried about it. All right, multi-tool upgrades. So, okay, we don't have... Oh, we do have the pulse splitter now. We do have the pulse splitter. Okay. Uh, combat scope. Oh, I need the surveying device. I need that. Oh, shoot. I should have unlocked that first. And I, I don't have enough. I don't have enough for that now, do I? No, it's 320. Okay, so we want the survey device. And the reason for that is because then we can scan for the minerals, the deposits, the uh, the electronic stuff, um, all of that stuff. So I need to get some nanites. We need to get some nanites of stat. So let's go ahead. Let's do that. Let's go talk to uh, Nada about Artemis. We're going to head back to the base. And then we're going to try to go around and do some... Uh, we're going to try to find some things. We're going to try to find a area that has larval cores in it. So we can just farm those to get some nanites uh, pretty easy. And then um, we're also... Yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to do. We're going to try to farm those until we can get nanites to get all the upgrades we need. We also need salvage data. Lots of salvage data. Uh, okay, ask what to do. Uh-huh. Uh, ask for help with Artemis. Of course, not a small gift for you. Perhaps it will help. Perhaps not. Then I pull over for you. A uh, friend will continue to search. Speak to us whenever you desire. Okay, so we got some nanites. We got 120. Wait, how many do I have now? 261. Darn it. That's still not enough. That's still not enough for uh, all that stuff. Okay. Continue the search for Artemis. Uh, return to space. Search for clues about Artemis amongst the stars. All right. So let's do that. I think what we might do is we might try to get a few things upgraded. We might kind of leave the storyline alone for for this episode in order to get more upgrades and more things because like we just i need to get all those upgrades i just bought installed we also need to get we need to get money we need to get money and we, in order to do that we need a farm like we need a farm farming the farm stuff you know what i mean all right we are in space so we should be getting a incoming transmission here shortly and there it is speak of the devil Unknown signal. Zzt. Where? Is there anyone out there? I'm outside. Identify yourself. Ask what's wrong. I'm going to identify myself. Tell Stranger that I can hear them. There's a moment of pause. And the only sound I hear in the background is cosmetic, uh, cosmic radiation. You found me. There's so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. Uh, how did you find my voice? Uh, I found a crashed ship. Tell Stranger about the abandoned starship and how I found their communicator ID in the distress beacon. I uh, begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. It's outside, but I, I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They just look like, ask where they are. Fear can be confusion dance within their eyes. Oh, the stranger, after a few moments of silence, they turn to me imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? It lied to me. It lied to all of us. Well, it lied to all of... The sound cuts out, but their face lingers silent before it fades into nothingness, into communication. So, I already know what happens with Artemis. Like, I already know this. So, uh, I'm not going to say anything, but yeah, we're going to continue on. Okay, this must be Artemis. They are clearly in need of help. I uh, need to find a way to boost their signal. Awesome. Okay, base computer online, archives available. So, let's go to locate a long distance transmitter. Awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead. Let's go back to our base, which is actually not here. Our base is actually not even on this in this system. We're in a different system. Um, gamma root, uranium, cobalt, gold, copper, silver. What else was here? All right, let's check these planets. I don't remember what was on these planets specifically. Undiscovered. Uh, frozen crystal, copper dioxide, and silver. What's on this one? Scanner recharging. Of course it is. What do we got here? Cactus, switch, copper, pyrite, sodium. 
You know, I think we need to go back to our base place. I think we need to do that. Okay, so we're back at the space station. Um, I'm going to use this teleport to actually portal back home. I could have done it through the Nexus, but I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, for I forgot. Hey, all right. So we are back at our base. Now, we have some suit upgrades. Base computer online archives available. Let's actually go interact with this to see if it unlocks anything else for us uh, before we kind of figure out what we're doing here. New data available. Okay, search archives. Uh, entry files, found additional buried technology modules, construction proceeding smoothly. Uh, recent expedition yielded blank, copying data to blank. Uh, additional data available, construction logs, recovered blueprints, is reassembled and prepared for download. Search construction database. Exosuit te technology data extracted, downloading plans, personal upgrade module synthesized for data scraps. Uh, readable archive retrieval complete, begin defragmentation of the next segment. Okay. So we got life support module. Ooh, nice. Uh, do we get anything else? Oh, we can get a, uh, we can, oh, can, we can build a storage thing now. Oh, no way. No way. And we also got a free upgrade module, life support module. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and move that here. Move that here. Let's go ahead and install right there. Fantastic. Uh, construct a storage container. Access the build menu with Z, track component item list okay so what do we need for this we have everything we need but apparently i cannot place it anywhere <laughs> i place it up here uh it's going right there that's fine with me all right so let's go ahead let's get control out let's get some wiring on here wire from there to the battery fantastic oh <gasps> Yes. Oh my gosh, we got a storage container. That is so nice. That is so amazingly nice. Now, let's see what we need for the other upgrades. Let's see if we can build anything else while we're here. Uh, let's see here. Let's go into here. Install technology. Oxygen recycler type C. Just takes oxygen. Let's just install that. Might as well. That's going to help with uh, more oxygen stuff. And then let's go ahead and move that there. What else do we have? Uh, movement stuff. Okay. Technology. I can't build that. I can't build that. And I can't build those. Okay. All right. So we can't build anything else. Let's go ahead. Let's throw all of this stuff into our uh, inventory real quick. So quick transfer. Basically all of this for now. Actually, navigation data we're going to keep on us just in case. Life support gel, we'll keep that. We don't need star bulb. Projectile, I don't need it because I don't have a projectile thing right now, but that's okay. All right. So we need salvage technology modules and we also need. Oh, we also need the other stuff too. Actually, you know what? Let's call on the other ship. Summon vehicle. Other vehicle. Let's summon this guy. Because this has the uh, this has the upgrade for the the auto takeoff stuff where we wouldn't necessarily have to refuel it all the time, and we might actually be able to platinum, paraffinium, pugnium, activated copper. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that needs repaired in here. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff that needs repaired. I'd like to go through and repair all this, but I just oh, we don't have. Oh, we just don't have the stuff to do it. What do you have on you for uh, stuff? Has 98 platinum, some tritium, some silver. You know what? We're just going to be going around this planet anyways for now. Let's just uh, let's just take this guy out. Let's just take this guy out. Why not? Might as well. All right. So I'm going to search for uh, some salvage data and try to get some of those things unlocked because like we have a lot of base components that we need to build. We have a lot of uh, mining stuff and we also need nanites too. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this grindy stuff right now. It's not gonna be super exciting, I'm sorry. Alrighty, so I I collected some things and uh, I collected some larval cores and I got uh, a bunch of salvage stuff. Um, the, the problem is that I didn't actually record it because I thought I was recording and I didn't. So um, anyways, <laughs> basically the excitement was uh, we were getting some lot of records from, I think I found two bases. 
and i found let's see how many we got we got 15 15 that's 30 60 72 salvage data and what 15 5 10 15 20 20 cores so um basically the salvage data is actually not that hard to find because i was finding them in batches like anywhere from two to like five so that actually didn't take too long and then uh the two bases it actually wasn't too bad either you just had to find the ones with the the eggs on it which we found last time uh so i'm not super upset that that didn't happen anyways let's go ahead let's turn those larval cores into nanites because those are what we want we want those nanites for sure and then um then we can go get some upgrades and uh, yeah it's gonna be good it's gonna be good i'm i'm excited to get some stuff going here that's weird why is it taking so much longer this time oh no stop that was salvage data i didn't know you could turn salvage data into nanite clusters huh interesting i didn't know that okay <laughs> that's not what i wanted to do though i wanted to do the larval cores i was like why is that taking so much longer oh it's not the right thing okay uh so now i have even less salvage <laughs> fantastic oh well it's not that bad it's not that bad okay all right so we're good there we're good there how many we have 1351 on nanites that's not bad let's go ahead let's go to let's just call the nexus in here and we'll get that figured out let's see uh let's go ahead and take off wait what the heck is this Whose ship is this? Starship of Assistant Saria. What? Uh, hi? Oh, that's right. People will just randomly land next to your base. Um, offer to trade. Do you have any good? Oh, <gasps> you have all the suspicious stuff mm, i really don't want to use my nanites on this stuff though not right now you know what if you came by at a later time that'd be fantastic i was like wait what the heck there's another starship here <laughs> that's super weird that's super cool oh i like that okay so let's call the nexus in let's get some more base pieces unlocked and uh who okay let's get some more base pieces unlocked nexus right there heck yes and then let's get some upgrades unlocked as well because we do have some nanites we have some nanites not a lot but we have some all right so let's stop here first now like i said the first thing that i want to unlock is actually oh we could unlock more storage too if we wanted to heck yes is actually these extractors and the reason for that is because these will allow us to get nanites a lot faster and the reason you want nanites is because with the backpack upgrades they get very expensive very quick also when it comes to upgrading ships if you want to upgrade storage slots and things like that on ships those get very expensive very fast so i want to make sure that we have a mineral extractor perfect um i don't really care about a gas extractor i mean we could make that uh but we need a supply depot because that is a storage deal that's going to store what those uh mineral extractors are getting and then we need to supply pipes as well um, I also want to get the electromagnetic generator because uh, that's going to make our life so much easier. And then I also want the electronic electrical cloaking unit basically hides all the uh, the wiring and stuff like that. So we'll get that. Now, I don't really have the stuff to make this stuff, but the idea is that we go and set it up on places where we can actually uh, start making more of it. You know what I mean? Um, OK, so there's that. And then where is the where's the interior storage thing at or not the interior storage the interior refinery because i really need an interior refinery as well here we go uh large refinery that's what i want okay so let's get the medium refiner i'm i'm blasting through these upgrade modules uh let's go ahead and get a large refiner okay it looks good we still have 29 left um I'm not worried about livestock i'm not worried about that the antimatter refiner reactor would be cool i've actually never played with that that's something newer let's see what else the landing pad would be really nice for our base so we don't have to use uh fuel all the time uh rover geo bay i'm not super huge on the vehicles underwater stuff not gonna mess with that 
Okay, so I'm thinking the last thing that we're going to want to make is we're going to want to get the square room. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to... I don't really w care for the round foundation right now. Not, not a huge deal. Uh, but we do want some doors. Let's go ahead and get a regular door. I want a hollow door because I can't be bothered with a door opening and closing. That's just a pain. Uh, climb ladder. Where's the teleporter? Where's like the little teleport thing to go from one plate, one floor to another? Mm, I don't really see it actually. Biodome is gonna be super nice too. So we can start playing anything. Oh, we need the cuboid rooms. Oh my gosh, we need the cuboid rooms. Yes, that way we can start making our own stuff. Um, uh, I need interior stairs. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get this. Interior stairs. And then interior ooh, ladder, I guess, to go up and down. Where's the teleport? I guess I should get this saving. Where is the portal thing? Oh, right here. Teleporter. Oh, landing pad. And then teleporter and teleporter cable. Mm, let's get the landing pad for now. All right. So that is going to... Oh, I want the tele... I want the short range teleport so bad. You know what? Maybe I might have enough if I didn't accidentally do my... Uh, <laughs> if I didn't accidentally refine those things. All right. Now, the next thing we need is we need more research, multi-tool upgrades. We need the survey device. Because the survey device is going to allow us to uh, toggle to see uh, terrain and like where the resources are going to be. Uh, the resource hotspots and with the electro magnetic field stuff but we need that and then you know what we're gonna be do a lot of we're gonna do a lot of resource gathering so oh do i want to spend 460 nanites to make my mining beam 50 percent faster i feel like that's probably a no-brainer huh yeah let's go ahead and get that okay Fantastic. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. We got the stuff that we want. Now, what are the odds that we can actually find the stuff that we need to make the stuff that we need? Um, let's go back down to our planet. Let's go back down to the base. Actually, I can just go through right here. Wait, what am I supposed to space anomaly? What? What is what we're looking here? I don't know why it wants me to look there. That's weird. And we are back at home. Okay, so what do I need to actually install the survey device? That's what I want. So I need wiring looms. Can we uh, pin this install survey device in the inventory install upgrades? Uh, we need quant. Oh my god, a quantum computer, wiring loom, and magnetic resonator. We need that in our life, like, very badly. Um... So now I want to go to a space station and I want to try to buy stuff from those guys. Actually, I also want to see what we need for... Actually, you know what? There's there's no point. We have to have the survey device before we can do anything else. Let's see what the, uh, the Galactic Trade Terminal has for us. Is there anything we can get here? Hmm. Medic seals. Wiring limbs. We do need some... Oh my gosh. Those are 53,000 a piece. <gasps> I need five of those. Oh my goodness. Not to mention the supercomputer and the uh, the other thing that we need. Mm. I don't even have enough for five of those right now. Do I have anything worth selling? Probably not on my exosuit. I have some leg meat. I guess it's worth 16,000. Ooh, okay. We're going to wait for a ship to come in here. We're going to see if we can buy some stuff. This is why we need <laughs> another reason we need money so bad. Oh, we only need two wire looms. Okay, two wiring looms. Okay, we can we can afford two. <laughs> oh, but I'm hoping I can afford the other stuff. All right, let's get uh, two wiring looms. Oh my gosh, that's expensive. That is expensive. You know what's funny is like eventually that won't be expensive, but right now that's very expensive. <laughs> that is so pricey. Okay, so the other things I need is a magnetic resonator and a quantum computer. Please have these things that I need. Magnetic resonator, one. Ooh, hydraulic wiring. I know I needed that for one thing too. Uh, but quantum computer. 
Hmm. No quantum computer. Okay. Thank you. You had something I needed. Uh. Oh, shoot. I need three magnetic resonators. No. <laughs> I'm going to be broke. I can't afford. I probably can't even afford the quantum buy items. I need to. Oh, geez. Okay, let's see. Can I sell you the leg meat or can I sell you that? Uh, Leg meat. Okay. And that's pretty much all I want to sell right now. Okay, we need a quantum computer. Somebody give me a quantum computer. I need it. Would you have a quantum computer for me by any chance? Mm, nope. You would not have a quantum computer for me. And I can't make that either. I don't have the ability to craft a quantum computer yet. So that is not good. Wait a second. This guy's in two places at once. What the heck is going on here? How are you there and there? I still haven't found my quantum computer, by the way. Let's go to a different system. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the other system. The only other system I've ever been to. Now, what are the odds that the trade terminal has it here? Quantum computer, come on, baby, come on. Solar mirrors. No quantum computers though. That's unfortunate. All right, let's wait for some ships to pop in. Hey, oh, quantum computer, thank goodness. Oh, you're my best friend ever right now. Okay. All right. Let's get our survey device fully installed. Thank goodness. Now, uh, since we're in a different system, let's go ahead and let's check what items are actually available here. Because I want to try to farm a mineral that's actually like, you know, kind of worth it. Now, selenium, copper, phosphorus, cobalt. What else do we got here? Wait, is that, that's my base. Copper paraffinium, magnetized ferrite. What do we have here? You know what? At this point, I'm not gonna be too picky. We'll go start up a base wherever. If we can get, uh, if we can get, if we can get magnetized ferrite. Magnetized ferrite, no. See, ferrite would be better than magnetized ferrite because uh, ferrite and pure ferrite are used more than magnetized ferrite is, so. Uh. But then copper, copper uses a lot too. You know what? Let's just go home. Let's just go home and uh, we'll figure this out. All right, let's get our survey device out. So I am looking for mining. Uh, potential B class. Okay, so let's go see what we got over here. Is it gonna be underwater? It's gonna be interesting. All right, so what do we got here? Is it gonna be copper? I mean, I wouldn't be upset with that. Oh, it's magnetized ferrite. How much does magnetized ferrite sell for though? Is that gonna net us any money? I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. It's probably better than nothing, but still magnetized ferrite, I don't feel like sells for, for that much. I mean, I guess it says the base value is 82, so that's not terrible. Hmm. Okay, so we have that there. What's the nearest uh, electrical hotspot? Okay, it looks like it's this way. And it's a B-class electrical uh, magnetic power area too, so that's not bad either. And it looks like they're both relatively close to my main base, so this is probably gonna be what we're gonna start with. Yeah, so we got, um, all right, so we got an area there. We got one over there, or no, that's the hollow terminus. Yeah, this will work, this will work. Okay, so now I just need to figure out, I should be able to, oh, is this not in my area? What? Really? Huh. Well, geez, how close do I have to be? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Was I selected on portable? I think we might be okay. I think we might be all right. All right. So let's say um, we're gonna need power more than anything. So power, if I want to make these, I need 
Metal plating, magnetized ferrite, and chromatic metal. Uh, okay. Hmm, chromatic metal. We need to get the, uh, we need to get that infinite chromatic metal thing going. So that might be, that might be our priority right now because we're going to need chromatic metal for a lot of things. So what do I need for general? Is it under general? Uh, large or finer chromatic metal 200 sodium nitrate. Oh my God. Five microprocessors. And I need, well, I don't need two of them, but I want two of them. Oh my goodness. If it's not one thing, it's another, you know, I mean, a mineral extractor is only five metal plating and chromatic metal, but we need that chromatic metal. We need so much chromatic metal. Oh my gosh. Microprocessors are super expensive too. Oh, that's going to break the bank. Literally have like 4,000 left. Uh, oh man. Is there any copper or chromatic metal in here? There's not. Oh my gosh. We are broke. Like we are so broke. I don't know how much chromatic metal I have. I don't think I have enough because I need two of them. So that means I think I need what? 400 chromatic metal at least. And but once we get that, then we can make chromatic metal infinitely. I think if it's still a thing and then we can start setting up shop for the magnetized ferrite and start selling that. I can literally only buy 14 chromatic metal. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so expensive to buy this stuff and I need like 400. Okay. All right. Chromatic metal. So we're going to have to make it ourselves. You know what? I will take your ferrite dust though because I always need ferret dust. Ferret dust is one thing that I refuse to make or refuse to go out and gather because it's such a pain in the butt. You know what? 250, not even worth it either. Okay. All right, back home. Let's see what we can do here. And you know what? I think I only bought five, didn't I? And I need 10. Okay, we're gonna have to work with five. We're gonna have to work with one. Uh, let's see, do I have any copper in here? So I have 40 chromatic metal. And have 184 copper. I don't even have remotely enough copper. Good gosh. My god. Ooh, this is a good size copper deposit right here. All right, so after I grab this one, we should we should have enough to get one made. What are you doing? Who's doing it? Really? Don't do it. Don't attack me. Are you trying to attack me? Get out of here. Okay, we have 938. Let's see, let's gonna do a conversion ratio of it's the two to one. So we're uh we have just barely enough. You know what? Uh I'm gonna find one more deposit so we can get this system up and running where we don't have to worry about hopefully coming out and getting this stuff anymore. Okay, I think we have enough to build the thing now. Um, storage container. Never mind, we don't have enough yet because I didn't make enough. <laughs> Darn it, I thought I had 60 chromatic metal. All right, hold on. Let's go into here and let's go to tech. We're going to go to general. This guy. Uh, oh, do I need a 200 chromatic metal? Oh, I need sodium nitrate too. Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't have any sodium here. Oh, that's annoying. That is, <laughs> that is so annoying. All right, we have the sodium nitrate. That was a pain in the butt to get. <laughs> Please tell me we can build this thing now. Oh, finally. Thank goodness. Um, Okay. So let's go ahead and rotate this guy around so we can actually see it. And we're just going to throw it like right... Right there. That should work now. All right. How much stuff do I have and what do I have? So I have 182 chromatic metal and then I also have 792 copper. So essentially what you can do is you can put your chromatic metal and your copper in here and that's going to produce copper. So this makes one to two and this is a one to two. So you can see how you get more because. Well, hold on. 
hold on let me make sure that this is right this this should be right because one to two it takes two copper to make one chromatic metal so mixing one copper that's two copper that's three copper we get i'm pretty sure this still works actually did they nerf this because now that i'm thinking about it i don't think that would actually work all right we're gonna do this with a small batch small batch we're gonna do 10 copper and we're gonna do 20 chromatic metal that's gonna give us 20 copper however it took 40 copper to make this 20 chromatic metal hold on let's begin that so that gave me 20 for i just did that Let's see what we get here. Okay, so now I have 30. That's going to give me 15 chromatic metal. And I started with 20 chromatic metal and 10 copper. This doesn't work anymore. This officially does not work anymore. That is super weird. I guess they finally fixed it. It was in the game for the longest time. No, darn it. Now I'm gonna have to worry about copper and chromatic metal. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Okay, exosuit, let's put that in there. You know what? Man, I'm almost regretting building this thing now because that was 400 chromatic metal that I just went through. Am I doing that right? Yeah, that's because we made 30. We had 10 copper. 20 chromatic metal which would have been a total of 50 copper we only got 30 copper back out of it that is no longer a thing apparently oh that is a bummer that is a huge bummer i mean we do have the stuff to build one of these but still like that's oh that is unfortunate we need to find a copper deposit because the, the since that doesn't work anymore we're going to be out of chromatic metal that used to be like the way you did it. You set up these guys, then you were good. You didn't have to worry about chromatic metal anymore. Oh no. <laughs> Everything is not awesome. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Next episode, um, I'm going to try to do some farming of some stuff because uh, we're going to need a bunch of copper, a bunch of chromatic metal. And I want to get some of the industry stuff set up. I want to get some of these set up. I want to get some uh, supply depots set up. Supply depots take two, take 10 metal plating. That alone is super expensive. Um, so I'm not looking forward to that. I also actually kind of want to see if we can use magnetized ferrite to make regular ferrite. Actually, we could do a test right now real fast. Let's see if we can make mag mixed magnetized ferrite and regular ferrite, if that'll make... Uh, okay, so ferrite dust. It's going to make pure ferrite. If I do magnetized ferrite and ferrite... No. That is not going to work. Oh, so we're not even going to be able to... I mean, we could sell it. It's worth a lot. And that's ultimately what we're going to try to do, is we're just going to try to sell that and hopefully buy the stuff that we need. So that's going to be the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming out. Thanks for stopping in. Do appreciate it. Now, like I said, next episode, we're going to focus on farming, getting some basic farming stuff going up, uh, and then kind of proceeding from there. Now, uh, I had some people ask me about sharing my base coordinates, and this is not going to be a base that I stay at for very long. This is going to be like the beginning base thing. And last time I did that, I kind of had some issues because people were like literally building all over the place and like on top of the base because there were some like weird issues and stuff like that. So uh, I'm not going to really share the base coordinates. If you want to check it out and you, you manage to find it, awesome. Uh, but I'm not going to openly share it because this is not going to be a final place for me right now. But yes, thank you again for coming out. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.